here with my Sephora VIB haul and a couple things that I wanted to chit chat with you about before I start my actual haul I wanted to share with you guys my zebra printed sweater dress that I got from Express last year but the reason I wanted to point that out was because I've been wearing a backpack lately as my purse just because I find it more comfortable to have two straps on my shoulder rather than carrying one strap because I like to put a lot in my purse I carry my water bottle I carry my wallet I carry my phone I carry snacks it just gets heavy coupons whatever so I've been using this Kohl's backpack that I think I hauled this fall this past fall um, I've been loving this this is made by candies and I think it was part of their back to school because it's meant to be a back to school backpack who says a grown woman can't use a backpack that's meant for kids. It's the perfect size for me. I was inspired to use a backpack because I've been hanging out with mothers and I don't have any children, but mothers of young toddlers who have to carry snacks, diapers, things like that. And they've been using a backpack and I started missing that back to school feeling of using a backpack and I just realized backpacks are very comfortable. You never know, I'll probably go back to my purse anytime but for now I'm really enjoying the backpack but anyway I was feeling really self-conscious going to work wearing zebra print because I didn't realize this until I was in the car that I had a zebra printed sweater and a cheetah print backpack so I was like do people think that I'm obsessed with animal print which I am but I would not typically pair these patterns together so I quickly ran from my car to the office so no one could see me carrying the backpack and then same when I was done with work, I quickly ran to my car. Also, what is up with traffic on Fridays? It's like, don't the same amount of people have to go from work to home or wherever it is they're going? Why is traffic, at least in San Diego, so much worse on Fridays? Traffic is already bad on Mira Mesa, Miramar, the 805 entrance ramp. Wow. San Diego people, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, on to the Sephora haul. I made my Sephora haul on the last day of the VIB sale, so basically I missed out most of the stuff that I wanted that I flagged in my loves was basically gone. The only thing that I got that was in my loves was this Cogen Doe cleansing spa water. Now I've been using the cleansing water that I got, oh, Bioderma from France, and I like that, but I don't feel like it cleans perfectly. I feel like the micellar cleansing water from Vichy has been the best micellar cleansing water that I've used. But I'm definitely willing to give another one a go. Lately I've been obsessed with cleansing waters. I find them very gentle on removing waterproof makeup so that's always a plus. I have not really been using almond oil the last four months to clean my eyes. Battery pack just died so I have a temporary loss of my train of thought. I think I was talking about cleansing waters. Um, yeah, I think I was. So I haven't really been using almond oil to clean my eyes lately. Um, the reason being is because I had lash extensions for three months and they've now finally almost all fallen off. I just have like one or two straggly ones left on the side that I don't want to just pull off. But today was the first day that I wore a mascara in about three months. And it was really fun to put it on, but I'm not going to lie, using mascara doesn't look as wow as lash extensions do. I think I will put lash extensions on again, but I was dying to wear eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, I was missing all that stuff, so I finally get to wear it again. So you will probably see a couple videos of me trying to play with false lashes and things like that coming up soon because I'm excited to play with makeup again for my eyes. Uh, the next thing I picked up was Dior. Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum and the reason I picked this up was because my lash extensions just fell off and I thought that my real eyelashes felt or feel or look a little bit shorter than before wearing lashes. Ooh, the packaging is just so luxe looking and I was wondering if using some sort of lash serum would help them become long and luscious and full, voluminous, whatever. So I picked the Dior show to get a go. The thing I picked up was a Sephora detangling brush. Now this, I was kind of going back and forth on the website trying to decide 
and I just decided to pick it up because if I don't end up liking it I can always return it and I haven't opened it yet but to me it just looks like an ordinary black brush so I might actually return this it doesn't look like anything special that's the nice thing about ordering things from Sephora if you change your mind about them you can easily return them and I think yeah this doesn't look like anything special so the next thing that I purchased was the Sephora by Z palette you all know that I like using my MAC empty palette which I think is a lot better deal because that is only five dollars I believe five or seven dollars and the Z palette is about eighteen dollars so now I'm thinking about maybe returning this one also it was an impulse buy when I stuck in my cart. I think I was just angry that everything that I flagged in my loves was out of stock. But of course it was my own fault because I waited for the last day. Cool thing about this is it comes with a little tool to help you pry out products that you depot. And then it also comes with a bunch of magnets. But for $18, I don't know if I'm going to keep that really. The next thing that I picked up was this little mini brush kit and the pouch is about the size of my hand and it comes with one two three four five different brushes uh, and the brushes all look like really high quality with the exception of the face brush the face brush doesn't really look like anything special um, but this brush right here looks like a cute tapered brush now it's a really really short handle like when I think of goss makeup brushes this is kind of what I imagine the size would be because it looks like a lot shorter than a normal brush handle would be. Yeah, I got this in the sales section. It was $15 and then of course my VIB discount. A liner brush, probably good for doing your brows. And then two eyeshadow brushes, a smudgy brush, and a packing brush. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing e.l.f. lipstick. I know this is kind of off on a tangent. I am really liking this. This is the moisturizing lipstick in the color Velvet Rope. Yeah, I am totally digging this e.l.f. lipstick. Actually, my whole face right now is e.l.f. I'm using the Cabo Cabana and this is their Pressed Mineral Blush. It's my first time trying it. I quite like it. And then I'm also using this Fiji palette. It's called the Fiji Matte Contouring Brush, Blush, blah, Blush and Bronzing Palette. They are matte. It's a matte contour palette. And then my foundation today, it's a little bit too light for me. I had to bronze up my face, but I looked a little bit ghostly pale. Um, is the Nude Moisturizing Foundation Stick, and it's just a foundation stick. It, it's cream foundation, so it's probably not so great for oily skin. Dry skin, maybe so, um, but I'm just playing with those products. I'll probably try to do a full one brand e.l.f. makeup look. I don't own an e.l.f. face primer, so I'll probably have to stick with my high-end one if I do something like that. But anyway, off on another tangent. The next item that I picked up were the Sephora hair ties. Um, I think I just thought that they looked cute. They were ombre. Obviously, you're not going to wear every single hair tie at once. So this is another thing that I'm not sure I really need because I really like my goodies hair ties. They're nice. They're cheap. They work just fine for me. So yeah, another impulse buy that I just threw into my cart. And then the last thing that I wanted to call, um, I don't have it on me because I just filmed a Sephora the high roller bag review uh, which I probably will have already uploaded. I'll insert a clip of that video so that I don't have to run and grab that bag. But that was also a last minute impulse buy. The last thing that I picked up is a Sephora eye or pencil sharpener and you're probably thinking why did you pick up another pencil sharpener? Okay, I think I have a new obsession of pencil sharpeners. Like, I need to keep one in every single pouch of makeup that I own or area that I keep makeup. My makeup room, the bathroom, my bag, my travel bag, instead of... Obviously, I could just move my sharpener from one room to the next, but I don't like doing that. And I like buying cute little things like this. I'm guilty of that. And then the three samples that I got, ooh, I'm eating my hair. The three samples that I got are Dr. Jart Plus Pore Minish Primer. Uh, and then the other one is Tokyo Milk 
Dark Tainted Love Shea Butter Hand Cream. And the last thing is Hair and Scalp Scalp Caviar Repair by Alterna. Cool. That is my Sephora VIB haul. I suspect that I will be making another Sephora purchase next Friday, which is Black Friday, because every year for the past three to four years, I've made a Sephora Black Friday purchase. They always get me with their $10 deals. Last year's deals were not as awesome as the previous year's deals, but I hope that this year they'll come back strong with something amazing. Great gifts, hopefully. I'm going to include a little snippet of my somewhat an unboxing of my Sephora haul. Uh, I received my package and I'm going to show you a quick little clip of some of the things that I got. Um, I'm talking in a very quiet voice because I received my package at work and I didn't want the whole office to be like, what is this girl doing filming a YouTube video? Um, but basically, a lot of those products were not for me. They were gifts that my friend bought for her friends. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye! Look how huge this box is. Here are my scissors and this is the box. The bag, that's mine. My Sephora VIP bag. That is not mine. This one is not mine. This one I have bought before, but this is not mine. That's not mine. This one is not mine. That's not mine. And that one is not mine also.